So children, today we'll discuss about the carbon compounds. Okay, tell me class, carbon compounds, organic chemistry. Okay, basic seven phases are only three basics. Okay, so we are going to discuss about the carbon compounds. Tell me class, CBS, NCR. So children, almost we have 110 elements. Approximately, different books will claim different number. That is different. Number is not important. Up to 94 only real elements. After that, all are uh, prepared elements, artificial. 110 elements, almost 109 elements will study under inorganic chemistry. 109 elements will study under inorganic. Only one element will study under organic chemistry. Only one element, that's all. Do you know what is that one element? Here? Only one element will study, study under organic chemistry. Carbon. And that one element is carbon. Then you will get doubt, sir, what is so special about carbon? Is there any specialty about carbon? Why we are. See, 109 elements we are studying in inorganic chemistry, only one element we are studying in organic chemistry means there should be some specialty. Is there any specialty? Yes. What is the specialty? Okay. The specialty. Okay. In board exam, how they will ask this question means why carbon forms? Actually, what is the specialty means children? Specialty nothing but carbon forms many compounds. Alone carbon forms millions of compounds. See, any element come for any element has certain limited number of compounds children but carbon can form millions of compounds only carbon can form like that other elements can't form like that why means is there any reason means yes there is a reason called like catenation and tetravalency catenation and tetravalency in board exam how they are asking means why carbon can form many compounds innumerable innumerable number of compounds why carbon can form innumerable number of compounds what are the two reasons which you should say catenation and tetravalency because of this two property carbon can form millions of compounds please mute your audio so children when carbon forms millions of compounds all these billions of compounds we can't study along with the, these compounds. When this um, carbon is forming so many compounds, all those compounds we cannot uh, study with inorganic because already these are so many. Again, this means it becomes difficult. And also, carbon is studied separately under organic chemistry. What is the specialty of organic chemistry? Means, uh, children, like if suppose hydrochloric acid, if I say you should remember HCl, that's all. If I say nitric acid, you should remember HNO3, that's all. If I say carbonic acid H2CO3, you should remember that's all. There is no other alternate for that. But what is the specialty of carbon? Because it is forming so many compounds. IUPAC people, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, for all the scientists all over the world, laid certain basic rules and regulations for organic compounds. By listening to the name itself, you can tell the formula. That is the specialty of this lesson. If I say, if I say methane, you need not to remember the formula, children. You need not to remember the formula. Myth means one, A means it belongs to alkanes, the formula is CH4. If I say decane, you need not to remember the formula, children. Deco means 10 and it belongs to alkane. Alkane formula is CNH2 and plus 2. Substituting that, you will get CNH22. Like that, you will understand later. Later on, you will understand. What is the specialty means? By listening to the name, you can write, by listening to the name, you can write the formula, normal structure, cross structure, all the three things you can write. That is the specialty of carbon. That is a specialty. Okay, that is a specialty, children. If you concentrate, it will be very easy. If you don't concentrate, throughout your life, you will keep claiming that organic chemistry is very tough. But in fact, it is very, very easy. Why means, sir? Why easy means, sir? There are rules and regulations, children. If you know the rules and regulations, you can remember any compound in any reaction. Because it is there in inter first year also, inter second year also, along with the 10th class. So concentrate now only. In the future, it will become very easy. Now you will get doubts, sir. What is catenation? Let me say what is catenation and tetravalency. Okay, so what is catenation and tetravalency? It's today's topic. That's all. What is catenation? One more question. So many times in board exam, it is a property of carbon. Property of carbon by which it links with itself. Property of carbon by which it links with itself to form long chain carbon compounds. That is catenation. What is catenation? It's, it's a property of carbon. Only carbon has that property. Silicon also have, not, but not that much. 
silicon also have little property but not like carbon carbon is having very much uh, so carbon links with itself like this like this like this itself it don't uh, search for any other element it links with itself and form long chain carbon compounds whenever you write this definition inside you just draw like this just draw like this that's all property of carbon to link with itself and form long chain carbon compounds property of carbon to link with itself property of carbon property of carbon to link with itself property of carbon to link with itself and form long chain carbon compounds okay definition is very very important right three four times of the class property of carbon to link with itself and form long chain carbon compounds okay children all of you repeat three four times yourself children not loudly yourself repeat property of carbon to link with itself and form long chain carbon compounds repeat all of you yourself and try to write definition four five times very very important definition four five times they ask property of carbon to link with itself it, it will not wait for any other element to come children it will link with itself and form so many compounds long chain carbon compounds catenation of uh, it means a uh, property of carbon to link with itself and form long chain because of this special property it links keeps on linking with itself and forms millions 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 of compounds why it has got organic compounds means our body is made up of our whole body all the animals all the plants all the microorganisms everything is made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen hydrogen and oxygen is in the form of water carbon is carbon if after we die they will they will uh, they will bury or they will uh, they will uh, like uh, they will burn or dead body when dead body is burnt hydrogen and water will go away with water leaving behind ash what is ash children carbon what is ash carbon ash means what carbon because all organic uh, organisms are made up of carbon it is called organic chemistry all organisms animals plants microorganisms everything on this earth is made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen hydrogen oxygen is water so carbon is remains thing so because carbon is present in all living things it is called organic chemistry okay so what is catenation children catenation is a property of carbon by, to, by uh, to link with itself and form long chain carbon compounds property of carbon to link with itself and form long chain carbon compounds this is first definition this is second whenever you write this definition please write this small figure also on next is tetra valency what is tetra valency what is tetra valency property of carbon to form four covalent bonds property of carbon to form four covalent bonds is called tetra valency okay children what is a carbon atom number 6 configuration 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 means if you write one is 2 two is 2 to p 2 okay so here two electrons are there here two electrons are there and here how many electrons are there one two on excitation one electron will go here and one two three four four electrons are there this four electrons will form four bonds okay this four electrons will form four bonds and the valency of carbon is always how much children Four valency of carbon is how much? Four. What is valency? Combining capacity of an element is called valency. Valency of carbon is four. Tetra valency. Compulsory carbon will form four bonds. Compulsory carbon will form four bonds, and this is also one of the reason for carbon to form so many compounds. Okay, what is tetra valency? Property of carbon to form four covalent bonds. It will share. It won't give electrons. It will take electrons. Why, sir? You may ask. Why, sir? Giving or taking four electrons is very difficult, children. Giving four electrons or taking four electrons is very difficult, so they will share. And carbon is very small in size. You know, carbon is very small in size. That's why it's formed very strong covalent bonds, children. Try right, to understand. Carbon is very small. That's why it will form very strong covalent bonds. And because of that strong covalent bond, tetra valency, catenation, it forms millions of compounds. So all these millions of compounds we study under a famous topic called organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is very, very, very. Important branch of the chemistry, children, and those who are perfect in organic chemistry, they many many people has been done many many uh, so many miracles of children. Okay, suppose petrol is there, diesel is there, kerosene is there. What is that? They are carbon compounds only. If you have strong, very 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 strong command on the subject, you can even prepare petrol, diesel, kerosene, all these things also they can prepare because they are all organic compounds. I call everything. Only thing is chemistry, children. Everywhere, every moment, every part, chemistry is involved. Okay, some chemical or some compound or some metal is involved. Everywhere, 
everything on this earth is chemistry. Okay, so, so carbon, first question. Why carbon is present in many forms? It forms innumerable compounds with catenation and tetravalency. Oh, that's all. Define catenation and tetravalency means you should define this. You should write this figure. You should define this. You should draw this figure. Don't forget to draw this figure. Ah, sir, it's simply drawing this. No, I won't accept. You should draw. If you don't draw, I will not give marks to your definition. Okay, what is definition of catenation? Probably of carbon to link with itself. Itself. It will link with itself. It won't wait for anyone. And form long chain carbon compound. What is tetravalency? Property of carbon to form four covalent bonds. Property of carbon to form four covalent bonds. Why it form four covalent bonds? See here, two plus two. Outermost four electrons are there, no? Four is a valence. See, why it four? Because why it will share? Why it will form covalent bonds? Because giving four electrons, taking four electrons is very very difficult, children. Giving or taking four electrons is very very difficult. That's why it will share four electrons. Children. Instead of giving and taking, it will share four electrons and it forms covalent bonds. And covalent bonds are very strong, children. For carbon, covalent bonds are very strong. Why? Because carbon is very small in size. Why carbon covalent bonds are strong? Because it is very small in size, no children. When carbon is so small in size, all the uh, atoms it is holding are very near to the nucleus. It will hold tightly, it will hold them tightly by sharing them. So this is organic chemistry children and why it has got the name all organisms on earth are made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen apart from hydrogen oxygen major component is carbon that's why it's called organic chemistry okay so organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry are the basic two uh, divisions in the chemistry lesson children if you go to inter first year second year half of the chemistry book will be organic chemistry only inter first year and inter second year also all the basics we will discuss in the chemistry Okay, this is catenation and tetravalency, which I wanted to say today. What is catenation? Property of carbon to link with itself and form long chain carbon compounds. Don't forget to draw this figure. Tetravalency. What is tetravalency? Property of carbon to form four covalent bonds is called tetravalency. There are so many definitions in this lesson, children. Catenation, tetravalency, allotropy, isomerism, homologous series, soaps, detergents, functional groups. So many, so many definitions are there. I'll say it later, but today definitions are catenation and tetravalency. See, very, very important. Three questions are possible. Again, I'm saying why carbon form in your number of compounds, catenation and tetravalency. Different catenation can be one question. Different tetravalency can be one question. Okay, or uh, why carbon forms only covalent bonds is one question. Or um, like uh, why, co uh, uh, why uh, covalent bonds of carbon is very strong is, uh, can also be one question. Like that. Different, different questions will come children. Okay, children, this is about partition and tetravalency. I hope you all copied this uh, definitions. Very, very important. You have to learn. And if possible, write 5, 5 times, 10, 10 times. Compulsory one more question, children. Never they miss in board exams to keep these questions. Catenation and tetravalency. Why carbon form innumerable number of compounds? Means you should write catenation and tetravalency. Okay, children, anyone have any doubt?